pedals well this is the last one in the series but you're probably not watching this chronologically anyway so whatever hello you two people I'm Henning Pauli here again um, you might know this might not know this if you don't know me then this is gonna be very strange for you um, why is the guy sitting there in a like you know China outfit well a because I bought it in China B because I look damn sexy in it and C because these are Chinese pedals and I thought it fits and I'm kind of weird so we're looking at Moval Mini Titans. That's the second series. The first one was Mini Demons. And you might or might not know this. I was kind of involved with that, you know, naming, designs, whatever. And uh, I'm good friends with Wendy from Moval. But she decided to go with someone else for the second series, which made me slightly cranky. But that would have been totally fine if what had come out was on the level that I wanted the company to act on. And uh, it, so, sorry, it didn't. Sound wise, well, pff, killer, but I like design, I like a cool and clever name, and what kind of a name is Plexi Troll? I don't like it when the pedals are trying to blatantly tell you 
what they're cloning or what they're sounding like. Call this Frank. Call it, I don't know, Pedal 71. I don't care. But Plexi Troll? Well, Julio Skimmy, a YouTuber like me, very cool guy, um, helped her design this and I think they kind of went wrong, but that's just me. Yes, I'm holding a grudge there, so whatever. I'm still not going to trash these pedals because bottom line is they sound good and that's really what we care about. Now, what you've seen in the video before, uh, the um, uh, that Les Paul type guitar was a Harley Benton progressive line, and um, holy crap, for under 200 bucks, Harley Benton is selling you killer guitars. So I'm not getting paid by them, but you know me, or maybe you don't. Even if I got paid by any of these companies, I would never ever, and I've told all of them that, I would never ever tell you that something's good if it's not. I'm telling you that I think the designs are crap, but I love Wendy, I love the company, love the pedals. I'm just honest. Some people call it being an asshole, but that's up to those people. Um, here we go. Plexi Troll. Um, I've said this a million times, I will say it again. The knobs feel very sturdy, very high-end, but you don't see markings on them. What I did for the video right here, for the pedal up there, I drew the markings in so you can see clearly what I'm doing. Uh, if you get this, just take a you know waterproof pen and draw them in. But in the future, they will have markings right from the factory. They're just trying to use up the pots that they already bought. And um, I like it when in, uh, in the packaging at uh, are velcro and rubber adhesives for the bottom it isn't but Wendy assured me that they're working on that and they're trying to bring that to you in the future so uh bug them about it okay um yeah it's plexi troll instead of gain it says fury that's okay um i just think that the picture does it just the image it doesn't have any detail it's just all black and black and black and why is a plexi a troll who cares now I'm not going to make friends here today by talking about the Plexi. Of course, Plexi is an old marshal. And as far as I can tell, back in the day, they got cranked up and then they started distorting. Not very nicely because the uh, the power amp was doing the distortion as well as the preamp. And then people like Eddie Van Halen and a million others started modding theirs and getting this overdriven, super high-gain plexi sound so it's not the traditional plexi it's the modded plexi that all these pedals are trying to emulate and i know i'm gonna get hate mail about this but a plexi sound is not a warm sound okay oh did i tell you about moval being a cat thing no i didn't i'll tell you that um moval means uh, the cat king Okay, that's also why you saw Wavy Cat in the video before. Um, if you saw Wavy Cat there, I don't know, I can't, don't remember. Um, but it means Cat King. And also, that's what they called Elvis Presley. That's, that's kind of funny. Anyway, Plexi is a... For me, it's a sound with a lot of balls and a bite in the high end. But the warm mids are not its strong thing. Now, if I say you can't play a singing solo with a Plexi, that is, of course, stupid. There are many great guitar players who made Plexi sing, but what Plexis do better is scream. Okay, that's the sound, the, the pedal or the amp you want to get for in-your-face scream sounds, not nice, warm, singy sounds. Obviously, with the, with the right pedals, any cueing and guitar, you can get a singing sound, but if you use the Moval Minotaur, singing and Beautiful knocky kind of mids are right there, kind of like with the resonance in the mid spectrum. Uh, Plexi to me feels like the mids are scooped out. And when I'm talking about mids, I'm not talking about high mids like 1.2k, 1.2k, or 2k. I'm talking about 400 to 1,000 hertz. Okay, and those are the warm kind of mids, which I think this is lacking. But that's part of its charm. Now, just like many. Plexi pedals, except, excuse me, the Carl Martin Plexitone. This is a one-trick pony. Uh, the gain knob simply me is almost not usable. It's just one setting, that's it, play with the tone, but it's all gain is always... Okay? 
Um, but it makes a great... <clears throat> Pedal, okay. It makes a great metal pedal, metal metal pedal. Um, and before we crank this puppy up, this setup, um, me going with the SC250 PRS, which has balls by itself, into the uh, Plexi Troll. Can you film that over here? And I had to switch to my blue screen board because it is as green as it get, uh, gets. Um, and then going straight over here into the Sir Badger 18. Um, in the effects loop, we got a Big Sky reverb, which we don't need for this demo, and a nice Brigadier analog delay. Um, that is being mic'd with an SM57 and a Toman SCT, a T-Bone SCT2000, 200 euro uh, tube microphone, very cool, just like this one, that's the RetroTube 2 tube microphone, which I'm talking into. And um, both are, have their own power supplies, which you can see over there. Where you can even pick the pickup pattern, you know, the polar pickup, the polar pattern, uh, whether it's Omni or Figure 8 or Cardioid. And that's going into below the Universal Audio 4710D, which is going into the Fireface 800 uh, via light pipe, and that goes into 7.5 Cubase on the PC. So, that's pretty much it, and very leisurely we will play a clean sound with the Sir Badger. <laughs> Slightly breaking up because the guitar is pushing this puppy. When uh, I talked to uh, Soren Youngberg from uh, uh, Karl Martin, he said you want your amp to be slightly breaking up to use a pedal like this. And he knows the shit. Oh. And now, engage. Now let's play around with the gain knob, it's not going to do too much. It's nice that it lights up and that it's there, but you might as well, you know, just have it in a position that looks good. <laughs> because it doesn't really do anything. Uh, but who cares? As I said, one-trick pony. I've had several plexi pedals, and uh, except for the Carmarten, this they, they usually just punch them for one sound, and that's the sound you get. Now let's look at the tone. <laughs> range to actually adjust for the guitar you're using. I give this a little bit more bite than noon. So, and that's really all there is to it. It just rocks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
if it's not singing enough for you, what you might want to do is use a beautiful analog delay to smoothen it out and uh, get the notes to mush together a little bit more. <laughs> Troll, small, green, and kicking ass! If you're in the market for a British sounding pedal with balls that does one thing when you turn it on and does that thing well for about 60 bucks at your local wherever you are, yes! Okay? Smile at the name, marvel at the sound. See ya. <laughs>